Every year at Christmas time, I get asked to uh, co-convent Santa. The answer is no, St. Nick was around. However, there were different visions of Santa Claus. Some had him as tall, wearing a Pope's hat. Uh, Americans uh, had him as this little dwarf guy with a Lord of the Rings type pipe. But in 1931, we hired a Swedish artist, Haddon Sumbling, and he drew on his background and drew a red, white, jolly, grandfatherly type figure. And Coke used Sumbling Santa every year from 1931 until 1964. So we didn't invent Santa, but the red and white jolly Santa that you know today uh, is the standard image of Santa came from Coca-Cola advertising. Who drank the first bottle of Coke? That's a fascinating question. I actually had to think about it a minute. It had to be John Pemberton, the guy that invented Coca-Cola, because he's testing it as he's inventing the drink. Uh, but we don't know the person that got the first serving of ice cold Coca-Cola at Jacob's Pharmacy in 1886, but he had a good Coke, I'm sure. I get asked all the time if I've seen The Secret Formula. The answer is no, I've never seen it, and I actually don't want to see it. Uh, and I'm also asked how many people know The Secret Formula. The answer is a very small number, but I'm not sure precisely how many, and they can't fly on the same plane. That's really about all I know about The Secret Formula, except it's in a bank vault in Atlanta, Georgia, at the World of Coca-Cola. <music> Who invented the Coca-Cola bottle? It was actually a committee uh, from the Root Glass Company. In 1915, the company sent out a creative brief saying, we want a bottle so distinct, you can recognize it by feel in the dark or lying broken on the ground. Earl Dean was the draftsman, but the patent itself was done under the name of Alexander Samuelson. He was the shop foreman at the Root Glass Company, the company that invented the wonderful Coca-Cola. <music> Was Coca-Cola a medicine? No, it was invented in 1886 and was first served at a pharmacy. And the fact it was a pharmacy is what makes people think it was a medicine. But soda fountains were always in pharmacies and they were so important for American culture. In Europe, you drink your mineral water and your tea and your coffee. In America, we loved carbonated water and we flavored it with things like vanilla, uh, sarsaparilla, root beer, lemon, lime. Coca-Cola was just one more flavoring for the carbonated water that Americans love so much. Uh, how is it the same around the world? Well, it hasn't been changed since 1886, and we make it the same way everywhere in the world. So the Coke that you get today is just as delicious as the one from 1886.